2017 Ram 2500 six four. Going to do the AC compressor. Okay. So the first thing you need to do is discharge your Freon, recover it, however you may do it. Okay. And once you get that done, you need to remove the belt. Okay. So you need to get your belt tool and go down below to the tensioner and get on it. And you want to push it this way. Okay. You know, loosens it up. All right. So remove the tension and remove the belt. Okay. You might want to inspect the belt right now also for cracks in the in the little grooves. If you don't see any grooves by the sharpness of the pulleys, you know, on the curves, you know, that's when it's stretched out the most, like on this idler. That will show up the, the cracks more than a straight spot, okay? So, remove the, the belt. Now we're gonna have to raise it up. Get the, get the compressor is down here, okay? So you have to get to it from down below. All right. All right, I'm down below. Okay. Underneath, there's the two nuts. Okay. See them? Pulling the compressor. I'm directly below it, so you can remove the two nuts. And I'm pretty sure you have to remove the two studs with the with the Torx bits, inverted Torx bits. Okay. What I say to do is remove the two nuts. Come to the back side. Loosen up this wire harness from here and there. These two studs. And there's a ground wire going to the side of the block. Uh, let's see. 15 millimeter. Take that off too. Then we can clean it up because the block's pretty rusty. That way you can push it aside, move it around. And now you can see the bolt for the back side of the compressor. So you loosen that one up. And then allow the compressor to drop down a little bit. So you can put some more penetrant on the base of those studs to the block. Okay. But first, what I'm going to do is go take the tire off. Remove the inner wind wheel well so I get access to my uh, compressor lines. So I'm going to do that first. Okay, for the fender wheel skirt, there's eight of these eight millimeter heads. They go all the way around and a couple inside. And there's two plastic push in clips one here and one there. Okay, then you can go ahead and start in the front and work it, work it your way out. Okay, get it out like that first because you'll never get it out from behind there. So push it in and then undo it from around the sides. Okay, okay, here we are. I'm inside the wheel well. Perfect, man. There's my connector and the stupid, wonderful red locks. There's my two lines. All right. So push the lock out and you can unplug your connector. And then you can go ahead and undo your, your 13 millimeter nuts on your uh, compressor lines. Okay. Okay. You got your... Uh, Lines off the compressor, and on the uh, low side, there's a wire harness held down with two plastic retainers. I cut them off. They're just they're just a pain. They weren't worth my effort. So, plus, <clears throat> I'll zip tie them to it when I go back together. So I'm going to get them out of the way. So now I got the lines. I pushed them up out of the way. I put a bungee cord on them. Did a bolt hole. Going up over the top of this thing coming down to the spring. Held them up out of the way pretty good. Now I can see my compressor pretty good. 
All right, you might as well take it off now because you can't get to it from down below. And then also I put an A7 Torx on here. It was loosened up pretty easy. Now it's getting a little tight. <clears throat> in A7 inverted. And plus it's getting close to the steering shaft, so I got to keep an eye on that. Okay. So oh, now it's coming a little bit looser. All right. All right, my uh, ratchet hit the steering shaft and bombed out, so I had to get it out of there. So I put two double nuts on it, and I used a wrench to get it out. So now it's just flopping around in there, hitting the steering shaft too. So if I take the double nuts off, I'm sure I could get the, the uh, no, I don't think I can. Still can't get it out. So I just have to wait till it all the way loose and then I can pull them out. So that tells me when I'm going together, I'm gonna have to have it inside the hole. Okay, inside the compressor when I put this up in there on a new one, okay? The bottom front stud's the same way. The tool hits the frame. So I had a, a swivel one, but if you don't have it, you can always double nut it, okay? I'm going to do the back bolt. This is what I say. I say put some double nuts on that bolt, stick it back in there, snug it up. So now you can go to the, the back bolt in the back and take that one out. So that way all your, uh, the compressor's being held up with this lower one. That one's a lot easier to get out. So you don't want to have to be fighting the compressor plus fighting the bolt at the same time. Okay, so put it back up in there with some double nuts on it, snug it up, and then now you can remove the bolt on the back of the compressor. Okay, we got the bolt loose on the back of the compressor. All right, I got it loose with a wrench. And I use my fingers, there's only finger, finger loose. So I got to thread it out with my fingers. There it sits. So that one's gotta go with the compressor too. All right, so now the compressor is totally ready to come out. All I gotta do is go back up front, remove my double nutted stud and drop it down. Hopefully I'll take it out through the suspension area in the front. Okay, push the compressor back a little bit. Push your shroud up, bring your compressor forward. Get it past the shroud up here. And then now here I am. I hope that I can just go ahead and pull it the rest of the way out. There it is, exactly how it came out, okay? So I'll put it up exactly the same way up through there. All right. Okay, match up your compressor, make sure it looks the same. Check out your instructions to see if it's a, uh, a shipping oil that has in it or if it's a dry ship, well, how much oil you got to put in it? Mine has no instructions whatsoever. So I tipped it on side slowly. A little bit of fluid came out to the top side. I didn't spill any. So it tells me it's got some oil in it. So what I'm going to do is I added one ounce of oil to it. And I'll put my plugs back in so I don't lose it when I'm messing around with it on its side. So, hopefully they don't fall out. You can always put your little retainers back on if you want, you know. But, I don't know. Should be good. All right. Now, when you get the compressor up there, you're gonna have to get this one start in the hole and this bolt in the hole. This stud in the hole and this bolt in the hole, okay? Sometimes what I'll do is I'll stick the bolts in there and I'll get a little O-ring and I'll stick on the end of it to keep it from falling out. But sometimes that keeps me from threading it in too. So what we're gonna do is, 
I'm going to put it up in there. And I'm going to see if I can get my bolts in. Okay? I know I can get this one in. I think I'll start this one, get it in there, and then I'll come over here and stick that one in there and get it started inside the block and then see what I can do with that. Okay, the compressor is up there. It's just resting there. I put the top bolt in, or stud, with my double nuts on it, and I put a small o-ring on to help retain it in there. All right, then I got my back bolt started. I got it in the hole also, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is lift up the compressor up against the side of the block, and then I'll shove my other stud up through here and get it started by hand. Try to anyway. Okay. Okay. I got my front lower stud started. I'm gonna double check to make sure my back bolt is still inside the compressor. But I'm not gonna get that one started into the block because my other bolt fell out. So I think now that the compressor can move slightly up and down a little bit, I might be able to push that bolt in there past that steering shaft. Okay, I got that stud in there. What I did was I removed my double nuts and I stuck it in through this side and pushed it that way, okay? So now I can try to push up my compressor up and get this one started into the hole, okay? <sighs> okay, I got it. I reached my left hand up underneath the frame and to grab hold of the front of the compressor, push it up there, use my left hand, my right hand, go up in here and grab hold of the stud and get it started with a couple threads. So now I'm gonna push this compressor up against there and I'm gonna put one nut on it that I can or a double nut it. If I can get the double nut on, then I'm gonna run it up and tighten my stud up. All right, I got my, I got my uh, stud snugged up and I got a little bit of a gap left. So now I can go down below and get my bottom one uh, stud tightened up. Maybe bring it a little bit closer to the block. And also now I can get my back bolt get that one started and snug it up and snug this one up and then come up here and snug this one up and then go around and tighten them up from there with the proper bolts okay okay you got all your compressor bolts bolt tight and nuts tight now what you want to do is put your ground cable back on the side of the block and put your fasteners back in here okay all right now we're going to lower down and get to the lines. Okay, you got all your compressor nuts and bolts tight. Now you need to do is hook up your lines. If you got new O-rings, go ahead and do them now. And this one takes a washer type with an O-ring on it. And uh, make sure you bottom them all the way. Make sure you push them in there all the way down. Make sure there's no gap in there before you go tighten them up because you don't want to get them cockeyed, okay? Make sure they're fully seated before you tighten your nuts for the, for the lines. Once you got those tightened up, then you go ahead and route your wire over here behind here and make sure that it's not hanging down by the steering shaft. So the steering shaft might rub a, rub a hole in it, so make sure it's a ways up tied up out of the way. And that's it for the compressor. And uh, next thing you need to do is put that thinner skirt back in. And then your tire. And when you put the tire on, you torque the lug nuts to 140 foot pounds. Okay? All right, remember the thinner skirt? 
push it in here first and then as you're putting the sides in you push the skirt that way all these in here all the way around except for this get all your screws started and the two up here once they're all started get your little pushing fasteners one here and uh one here pushing faster one two push those in and then go ahead and tighten all your screws and then put your tire on, tighten the lug nuts, stars pattern, 140 foot pounds. Okay, so now you're you're all set. Now you can finish it up, lower it all the way down. Okay, now go on top, get your belt tool, and get your belt all lined up and ready to go. You're gonna put it around the smooth pulley last, okay? So leave it off of this one. So hold your tensioner and then slide the belt around this one last, okay? I had my drawing wrong the first time because I took it apart first before I did my drawing. So this is the proper way it routes, okay? So next you need to do is go ahead and put a vacuum on your system. Make sure you pull a good vacuum. If it's not pulling a good vacuum, then you got a leak down there at your lines, most likely. But when you got a good uh, 25 to 30 pounds of vacuum for 30 to 45 minutes, then you're all set to go and recharge it, okay? <laughs> and this one takes One point one pound. One point one nine. So that'd be a twelve ounce can, so your four ounces short. One tenth of an ounce. Hmm. So five hundred thirty-nine grams. I'll let you know in a second. Okay, you wanna charge it? You wanna put twenty-four ounces in it because you're going to lose some freon through your gauge hoses, okay? And when you take off the line, okay? So let's go ahead and charge it with two cans of freon, which is 12 ounces each. That would be 24 ounces, okay? And that's it. Hopefully I uh, helped you out with this AC compressor. You can help me out by subscribing. I appreciate it. And uh, good luck.